So in this series, we are going to talk about the integration between Cisco and Microsoft, you know, for meetings and calling. So I thought of making a short series so that uh, we are aware about what's going on between Cisco and Microsoft related to Cisco collaboration and Microsoft collaboration products. So I hope uh, this is interesting for you guys and uh, let's see further. So today in this first series, we are going to have a look at the integration of Cisco Jabber with the Microsoft Teams. So how can Jabber on-prem Jabber be integrated with Microsoft Teams and what are the advantages of using Cisco Jabber with the Microsoft Teams? Why not directly? I'm mean, calling with the Microsoft Teams. Why do I want to use Jabber inside the Microsoft Teams? You know, so basically, why is it so important? Why someone wants to integrate Cisco Jabber with uh, Microsoft Teams? Of course, uh, there are a lot of customers who have already invested, you know, in the on-prem PBX for enterprise calling and calling to PSTN numbers, um, for example, Cisco CUCM and then Cisco Unified Border Element for the PSTN calling. So they don't want to yet now, you know, lose that capability to make a PSTN call using the uh, sophisticated PBX or with the seamless integration with Cisco Cube and the service provider over the SIP trunk, you know. So, but the client or the customer also doesn't want to lose the uh, collaboration capabilities of Microsoft Teams, you know, so they, they want to keep both of the solution together. So in order to do that, what Cisco and Microsoft have done is come up with a solution wherein you could, in, they could integrate the application inside of Microsoft Teams, you know, so and it's just a client side deployment. That means there is no more hassles. It's just like you add an app inside the Microsoft Teams and uh, that's it. And you have a fl flexibility, you know, in case you have on-prem Jabber that also you can integrate with Microsoft Teams or if you have WebEx Teams, uh, so you could also use that, you know, so you could make use of that as well. Uh, WebEx Teams client as well for, for calling. And what's important is there is no change in the infrastructure, as I, as I said already. So that's just a client side deployment. And especially there are no special licenses needed because you have already purchased some licenses for Cisco Jabber. So you don't need any license. And on the Microsoft Teams side, you don't even need the E5 enterprise uh, calling PBX license, you know, so you could really save, the company could really save the money on uh, such a solution and make use of both the seamless um, solutions for a seamless collaboration experience, you know. So how does this, how does this work? How does the UI looks like? So this is, uh, I have just created in my lab, you know, so it's so simple to, make a call from the Microsoft Teams. If you see here on the left side of the pane, uh, you could just, or your admin could just add an application in your, from the app source, and then you would be able to see it in your Microsoft Teams like this. And uh, you could also just style a number from the dial pad, and then you could make a call directly. Also, you could uh, search your corporate directory like I have shown here. And then from there also, you could make directly the calls to your uh, colleagues or a PSTN mobile number or something, you know? So it's that seamless integration. So it's just a matter of adding a application inside your Microsoft Teams, and then you just keep both the clients uh, running in your PC and you are good to go, you know. So the next good thing is even if, for example, you are chatting with one of your colleagues, you know, and suddenly you decide, okay, I need to 
make a call on his or her mobile number or a PSTN number or whatever or a URI number. So if you see down bottom, there is an uh, Jabber app already available. You can click on that app, you know, and then this pop up comes up with the user's phone number. So you could select on which number you would like to dial, you know, so either you could use a PSTN phone number or a URI and whatever number you click on what happens next is with the uh, help of the protocol handler you know so a jabber client pops up and then you are able to make the call via the jabber client that means it's a seamless integration you do not have to worry about where is my jabber client is it open is it closed uh, sorry i mean if I have to search for again for the contact no not at all from the single client from the webex teams directly you could just click on call and select the number and then uh, yeah it gets the contacts from the azure active directory or uh, or the uh, active directory you know and then you are able to make such kind of pstn calls directly uh, what's up so What's up next? I mean, so and this was just a short introduction of the series and how at least this calling works. So the next thing that's coming up in my small video series, so this time it won't be too long uh, videos, maybe one uh, video is too long for more than half an hour or the rest of them would be maximum eight to 10 minutes, you know? So yeah, we will be seeing what are the different Cisco and Microsoft integration uh, calling and meeting scenarios, you know. So how are we able to make a WebEx call or how are we able to use a Cisco uh, desk phone for calling using a Microsoft Teams, you know. So these are the scenarios that we are going to have a look at um, directly. So, of course, access all of these directly from within the Microsoft Teams clients. Uh, what are the deployments that is needed? What is the flow of the deployment in case I want to use uh, such a solution? Uh, what is it that I need to do on my side in my organization? You know, that's the second thing that we are going to discuss. And then uh, I'm going to tell you about how you could easily uh, practice this in your labs, which is completely free. And then you should be confident enough to um, handle such scenarios in your office environments you know um, then I would be doing a demo of each scenario so for example how could I use Cisco Jabber to make a call how is it working and then I would make a real call a PSTN call and then how would you make a call from Cisco IP phone and then how would you make a call from let's say Webex Teams uh, from within the Microsoft Teams clients and how would you uh, join a meeting uh, from the Microsoft Teams using uh, a WebEx meetings clients or how could you join such meetings, WebEx meetings from within the Microsoft Teams and what are the integrations and what's coming up next, you know. So these are the things that I will be discussing uh, going forward and I hope you guys would uh, like it. In case you think you need some more information, please do not, uh, please feel free to reach out to me and I would be more than happy to uh, give more information about such a solution and that's really helpful for uh, each and every organization to save a lot of cost on the infrastructure side, especially and licensing, of course. Okay, and uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much. And I would say again, if you think this, this series is going to be interesting for you and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you have already done, please like this video so that it could reach to a lot of people and they could, uh, you know, make use of such important informations that could help their organizations to save cost. All right. Thank you very much. Have a nice uh, day or evening or uh, morning, wherever you guys are in the world. And uh, see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.